Hello peeps, welcome back to another video, and I bet you all know about a few legendary titles like Skyrim Ender Scroll series, Legend of Zelda series, Witcher series, and Shadow Colossus. And last but not least, yeah, you know what I mean, Assassin's Creed series. You all know about games series they all have something in common which caught my eyes and that is save game option and you can't do that in minecraft in legend of zelda Breath of the wilds i'm starting to play it now in saving and later i know it's something that is not in minecraft and that severely triggered me and um it was the save inventory option where you could just save your progress you can't do that in minecraft you can just say oh you can do that in minecraft yes you can but you are going to have to turn on keep true now i have not yet taken up how to make the spawning system like very save previously progress will be saved i've not made something like that but i have made something that will save your inventory at your choice so you can make the inventory be saved or you can miss it and lose all of your items if you can see in the ninth hotbar slot we have a nether pickaxe called save this is what we will use to save our progress or our inventory and these are all the commands and um it's it's really not a lot it's pretty simple it's actually super simple so um yeah let us go to the first command block as you see if i hold this these two light up. There's basically enchanting at P fortune. That's man enchant at P fortune. So basically it's like the opposite. It's always enchanting the pickaxe when I hold and it's setting off a restaurant signal. And then we have an impulse needs restaurant command block. And it changes game rule keep inventory true. So it makes it turn on the keep inventory as true. So you can do this before you die and you're gonna keep your items, but the next time you try to do it but you are unsuccessful, then you're not going to be saving your items. And that's really sad. So what is making that work? Like you can't save the items. What is making that work? It is making Okay, let me go to okay. I want to show you this first. Test for at P. It's gonna be testing for closest player. Test for at P. So what it does is it is continuously testing for me. As you can see, it says found X player. Now, whenever I die or like the Xbox player dies, then it turns obvious on signal. And as you can see, we have in restaurant in border. So, uh, yeah, it looks something like this, so it's like the command block facing upwards, and then a comparator, repeater, salt block, and then the restaurant torch on the block, like on the side, just facing the opposite way of the command block right there. A redstone dust following the torch, a repeater, and then a impulse. These are man block, and then it makes the people keep the false. So I have all these items right now. So I'm gonna be doing this, and then go back, and I'm gonna say slash game mode S. And just to confirm, I'm gonna do this again, and then I'm gonna jump into the lava, which will make me die. Thanks. Okay, so see, I died in the void and I kept my items. 
Now, if I jump in the lava here. Excuse me, night, excuse me. Okay, let me just quickly, come on, come on, come on, come on. Basically, see, I lost all my items and it dropped. Obviously, you can see this again because it's not right. And it's I'm gonna do this quickly. Come on. You see, I kept my items and now I'm gonna try and get again. Quicker than here. You can see that works like a charm. Up. Hey, uh oh. I say that. So basically, what it does is when you die, you're basically not in the world anymore. So it turns off this restaurant signal, which makes this restaurant posh turn on. I'm going to show this to you again, slash game mode C, show this again, I'm going to put this, turns on the redstone torch, so if I place this again, it turns it off because this is a order. It's really simple to do, I'm going to do it for you guys. Place okay. there, then I'm going to this, 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 and that. I'm gonna, okay, I don't need this for now, but it looks like that. And then I'm gonna get a redstone block. And then I'm gonna get that. And then I'm gonna be placing this about. This there. So basically, that powers this. And, okay. This restaurant torch in itself is always active. Now, if I place another one here, it gets turned off. So, basically, this is what a restaurant inverter is that and this. If I break this, watch what happens. It gets switched. So, that is the basic concept of a restaurant inverter. And that is how. You may just save in three options, so thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you next time.